Hello, hello everyone and welcome to Divine Debut 11. This is Kathy speaking. Thank you so much for joining me here. We are looking at the three months ahead. So January, February and March of 2024. Okay, it's our patrons that get the whole reading. Um, here on YouTube you are receiving the first half hour and then you've got the option either to join us through Patreon or if you're not wanting to join us through Patreon, you can purchase the extended or the second part of the reading, let's say, um, through our website. So you can get all the links beneath this video. I want to thank you so much all for your support. I'm wishing you all a wonderful beginning of 2024 we're going to look into the first three months this is a general and love reading where we'll see what comes through from spirit and don't forget to check out your sun moon rising your venus your mars and your north node placements in your horoscope your natal chart okay so that could give you a little bit more information so let's go on to the videos hello hello dear cancer and welcome welcome to your general and love reading for the months january february march of 2024 we will be extending this reading just in case you did not hear the intro through patreon you can join us on patreon so that you could get the 12 the 12 extended readings or you can purchase a one-off from our website you can get the links beneath this video so we'll be extending this reading uh, through using some sabilas and and a love oracle as well so this is the good tarot i'm using right now dear cancer and we're looking generally at the energies for each month so dear spirit for cancer sun moon rising venus mars north node what's going on in january february and march january we have the eight of water so it's the eight of cups what about in march please spirit did i say march well i've got to take march we've got the queen of earth what about february there's something about getting to March and needing to go back to February. Two of Wands. The Two of Fire. Choices, obviously, and it's like a portal opens up, like opportunities uh, are coming to you where career is concerned. Now, we see a ship on the horizon here, and it's the Eight of Cups here. We see, also see... A lot of loot here like a, a trunk filled with goodies so there's something about uh, there is something about what I'm getting here in the month of January something is clearing up for you pertaining to your finances um, but this may this may um, involve leaving leaving a particular uh, position or job or something to do with an emotional change where you were you did not find um, what you were hoping for and the possibility is once you uh, depart or you've departed from last year and this uh, could hold a lot of promise as we see the ship on the horizon let's look at love in january we've got shine and we've got the sun the sun beautiful and you may be dealing with a leo dear cancer or this is your energy you may have planets in leo you may have just your sun in cancer and your your personal planets could be in leo so Whatever this is, this could speak to happiness, reconciliation, the light coming on, going through some healing, some truths. 
matters pertaining to heart what about the month of february in love for cancer we've got listen and we've got the high priestess and the month of march and we've got heal and we've got the star So we've got Leo Aquarius, Leo Aquarius, Pisces, so far in the major arcana here. Okay, so in the month of January, it's looking like there's things going on. I mean, it could involve a risk, it could involve flirtation. The sun is Leo, so it, it, it does involve a risk. It could be about flirting, having fun, doing things that make your heart happy in the month of uh, in the month of February, dear Cancer. We see the high priestess, which is saying trust your intuition. The high priestess could be a spiritual connection. Um, there's a lot of wisdom here. And then in the month of in the month of March, we've got the star. So you've got the the sun and the star, and a possible spiritual connection. Could be with a foreigner. Um, The star, remember, uh, could be uh, a light that shines in the in the near future or in a, at a physical distance. The star can also speak to a wish fulfillment, of course, but also something to do with someone that is popular. I mean, we've got the sun and the star here, and you know the the sun speaks to someone that's well known, that holds a secret life, um, secret life pertaining to matters of love here you know this could also speak to a, a secretive or a spiritual love connection uh, either with someone that holds a leadership position or yeah this could be um, finding love as well in a group that you connect with could be through social media. It's as though you're you're uh, attracting, you're attracting. It's like you're beaming your light. You're saying my heart is open, okay, and you're trusting. We see all these vibes here, these these energies, it's like a pulsing energy, like you're attracting in um, the right person. You're ready to take off where your love life is concerned, and many of you are leaving past um, challenging relationships and moving towards a sense of healing unless this is an old relationship that you feel is coming back in remember March is also clo very close to the eclipses very close to the eclipses which is a very powerful time let's take more cards dear cancer see what's going on this is the uh, vice versa tarot Let's get more information on each month for you. What's going on for Cancer? The sign of Cancer. The sign of Cancer, please, Spirit. What's going on from or for the sign of Cancer in the month of January? We have the Nine of Swords. We have the Knight of Wands. And we've got the Eight of Pentacles. What about in the month of February? We have the Justice card. We have the Chariot, two major arcana. And we've got the Knight of Cups. Beautiful. What about in March? What's going on in March for Cancer? We have the King of Wands. 
the Ten of Pentacles. And we've got the Ace of Pentacles. Beautiful. Let's take some Lenormand. January for Cancer, please, Spirit. January. January of 2024. We have the Moon. The Lily. And the Birds. In the month of February, we have the death card we uh it was actually i think it was gemini and taurus that had the death card in the same position we've got the fox we've got the key in the month of march we have the boat the ship We've got the bear and we have the divine feminine. Let's take one more on this divine feminine. We've got the clover. So there's a lucky break in the month of March for my beautiful Cancerian people. Okay, dear Cancer, let's have a look at your reading. Okay, so we've used the Psychic Tarot of the Heart for uh, love relationships. And then we blend it all in. We'll be taking some La Vera Sibila, as I said, for more clarity in the extended. And as well as that, at the end of that, uh, we'll be taking the Love Oracle. At the end of this reading, here on, uh, here on YouTube, uh, of course on Patreon as well, but patrons get the extended obviously um we'll be taking a spirit of the animals at the end of this part of the reading so let's see what's going on dear cancer as i said i do feel here that maybe towards the end of 2023 you've uh left a job that you know something that held promise that did but did not actually happen for you um i feel that there's a potential here and i don't know if this is your expanding your horizons dealing with foreign countries um working on you know the internet but i feel i figure that you're going to find more than likely because you've got the eight of pentacles here as well where work is concerned it may involve travel yes um and you've got the nine the nine of swords here as well which can speak to stress anxiety and worry um relative to your ships coming in so maybe this is like the promise is that there will be a return on on the work that you put in now the change maybe the the challenge even though you're a, you're a cardinal sign I do feel that still you like your environment to feel like a place like like home you know so change is change where work is concerned is not as uh, easy for you I would say um, because you need a work environment to feel very homely that's when you would feel great you would feel more comfortable um, I get that maybe you've been following your heart with so I'm getting that even though maybe the money was better in another job it's as though you're doing now something you're creating something for yourself which will uh, which may be a little bit risky it's as though you're following your heart it may be a little bit risky and there's a lot of doubt about it but I feel as though if you're following your heart and your your inspiration, what you desire to do, then you shouldn't worry too much about it. I do see that you will be busy. Eight of Pentacles here uh, in the month of January. A lot of back and forth. Um, very creative, very, very fiery energies here with the Knight of, Knight of Wands. And yes, it can involve some travel. Um... But there's also stress around it. 
you know, will they like what it is I'm creating? Uh, will it give me back something because I'm going to pour all my heart into it and this is what I love to do. Um, maybe just too many thoughts or I don't know, you may be involved with another air sign, someone that's sort of filling your head up with stress and worry, um, even though you don't really need uh, need that that's not what you need you need someone that's going to to um someone who believes in you nevertheless not someone that's going to make you doubt yourself okay now we've also got the moon here the lily and the birds the birds can speak to messengers, messengers. The lily is doing things by the book. It's, uh, it could speak to a, a past connection or a spiritual connection, or um, it is a card of wisdom. So maybe I mean, the, the wisdom comes from within, with the moon card there. The moon is a, a card of yearning. It's a card of psychic ability. It's a card of strong intuition as well. I feel I need to tell you where, where um, work, career is concerned. That there is possible still change and transition there's a little bit of anxiety and nervousness about the change and what you're sort of building on. But you need to trust your intuition that doing things, you know, being diligent, working hard, um, doing the right thing, um, being of service, right, is what will help you succeed and be acknowledged and reach the top, possibly. Okay, with the... the uh, <coughs> excuse me with a sun card here which the sun does speak to leo it speaks to leadership so i don't know if this could possibly be a leadership position possibly where you need to work even harder All right so in the month of january also where matters of heart are concerned a long distance possibly relationship where someone's hoping to travel Maybe work is not uh, letting them. So this is the doubt that someone won't be able to come around in January as they had hoped they would. There's a possibility that some of you are dealing with a secretive relationship as well. Or just a very strong, deep, telepathic connection. that And you communicate through social media. And... There could also be talk about a meeting. Maybe some of you haven't met this person in person. So there could be a lot of stress around that as well. And it's going to take effort. This connection is going to take effort. And remember that the sun speaks to happiness and fun and clarity and uh, reconciling. So... There's a lot of stress around matters of heart, long distance connections, secretive connections as well, maybe even self-doubt about whether or not this is a spiritual connection or whether or not someone is looking at you just for, you know, just for fun. So that could be the doubt here. All right, dear Cancer, let's go on to the month of February. As we've got the two of fire, two of wands. There's something that's being lit up for you. It's like you've got a bird's eye view of an, uh, an opportunity or an opening. Um, here in the month of February. Choices, two of, two of wands is like I'm ready to fly, isn't it? And... Obviously, birds have got that bird's eye view. So does this giraffe here. And the giraffe is holding the lantern, the light. 
So there's something that's going to be lit up, something that will be will come to you. I don't know if it's going to come telepathically or there's something about dealing with foreign places. We've got the chariot, which means movement, which means victory, which means, um, yes, it can be a dilemma where you're needing to take charge. Someone is has seen things now pertaining to some sort of an ending connected to someone that was quite sneaky we've got the fox here the fox can speak to sneakiness or intelligence but possibly where there was sneakiness secrecy you're unlocking you're seeing the light you see the key there there's an unlocking of a situation um, which is going to bring some sort of justice in some sort of uh, balance in your life some something fair we've got um, justice which is like a, a card of balance and we've got number two which also is a card of balance so I'm wondering if not for love some of you have now seen things from a from a higher perspective um, we know that the eight of water also can speak to leaving an emotional situation which did not fulfill you even though it's in the general um in the good tarot here we know that the eight of cups is where someone turns their back on those eight of cups and they head for the two of cups um obviously moving towards a relationship that where they will be valued more so we see here that just the you know, the the coffin here, the coffin speaks to an ending, an ending to trickery, an ending to sneakiness, infidelity, possibly. An ending to someone that was not with you for your highest good. Because even with the nine of swords and the knight of wands which is a card of i'm going i'm going to chase what i desire i'm going to follow that that fire i'm going to follow my desires but there's a lot of worry around that and there's also a lot of work that needs to be done effort put in so i, I get a little bit of a dilemma but i feel as though you're going to see the light uh for some of you i mean you know that the knight of wands could also possibly be it is the player of the knights and we've got the fox here so some of you may be doubting a connection that there's been that it's been true it's like what is it that they really want from me you know and i get the sense that you're going to you're going to successfully uncover unlock with the key here the key is an opportunity it is an opening and we've got justice so spirit is bringing you in someone that's going to sort of meet you halfway someone yes and this could also be this could also be someone who's either come out of a divorce still going through a divorce whether this is you or this is your person if this is relative to love because even the high priestess which speaks to a spiritual connection, yes, a divine connection where there's telepathy, but also it can speak to third parties, right? Where someone's searching for the wisdom or they're searching for their other half, the, that telepathic connection, that, that um, spiritual, divine, higher, uh, energetically connection where two people don't really need to talk much. They feel each other you know they 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 relate really well and you've got justice and you've got the chariot which means there there is possibly also um some sort of movement we've got the chariot and we've got the house uh, the key here which can speak to some of you now having seen the light leaving someone who was very uh, sneaky and very dark with the the coffin there that could speak to uh, 
the Scorpio energy, which Scorpio could be very secretive. Scorpio does speak to um, intimacy, right? Physical, emotional, uh, but can also speak to deception. Scorpio can be very deceptive, yes. So I don't know, dear Cancer, if you're dealing with um, someone that was very deceptive, but I see that there is, I mean, it's as though you're seeing the light here in the month of February. You've got that bird's eye view. And what you're looking at is uh, another relationship where there'll be more balance, where, there, where there'll be more heartfelt emotions. So, yes, there is a possibility that some of you are going through the doubts, um, through the doubts in the month of January on whether or not your person, the person you're dealing with, and you know, the fox can speak to distrust. You may be distrusting because you've been hurt before. Whether this person, this love connection, is someone that's going to be true and whether they're going to offer you that cup. We've got the Knight of Cups here. So maybe there's like a clearing out of the, you know, um, not leaving anything up to chance and being more decisive, more truthful, more open, um, and therefore overcoming any obstacles. Now, of course, this could possibly speak to you letting go of a player and then connecting with a new person here, dear Cancer. But we also see possible travel or a change of home or overcoming any obstacles and moving towards your justice that you've, it's as though you've um, attracted or this could even be your energy, you wanting to offer your cup to someone here okay we we do have libra we've got cancer strong cancer obviously um but this could be yes another another cancerian doesn't matter we've got leo we've got pisces we've got aquarius we've got we do have a fair bit of uh, the energy of I'm going to say where Earth is concerned, more Virgo energy. If we're talking to Earth signs, we've got the Queen of Earth, we've got the Eight of Earth here. That's a Virgo card, nevertheless. Um, and even the Ten of Cups, uh, Ten, sorry, of Pentacles. Anyway, so I see here in the month of, of February that there is change, there's a shift, and there's it's like you're finding your footing, right? We've got another two here, two, two, and we've got an 11, okay? So twos can speak to segregation, separation, but also coming together, um, coupling up. So a lot to do with dilemmas and, um, you know, you're looking for the way to find your footing. You're looking to find your justice, your you've got lots of decisions in the month of February, in the second month of the year. Now there is also a possibility where career is concerned, that you may be stepping into something that fits you more, something more, more spiritual. Some of you may be um, getting into a career or even you know, going through the learning process because of the high priestess, she's very knowledgeable. Usually where, um, you know, spirituality, religion, uh, something around that. Some of you could be going through some sort of learning. You're wanting, you're wanting to possibly also change career. You're looking at things from a different perspective I get here and the key speaks to unlocking and it speaks to opportunities possibly towards the future but there's it's it's more as about more um, checking out uh, doing your homework I get in the month of February okay now in the month of March we've got the Queen of Earth here she's a mother She's, uh, she's 
very strong she's the go-to person she is very experienced she's got possibly responsibilities she's very good with her money she's very there for others she's someone that's very very stable um so the queen we know queens are about knowledge so she's very knowledgeable with her money or she's very knowledgeable with as a mother um through her life's experiences but she's also there for others she's got that motherly um nurturing side to her but she's also very grounded very practical so queen of earth can speak to good possible finances i don't know if this is a mother of yours or someone that's very motherly towards you remember the queen of earth she's like the minor arcana of the empress so there's something to do with healing could it be with your mother could it be a, com a communication here uh, an email a text or something like that from it could be an earth sign so virgo taurus capricorn i suppose it could be any earth sign um virgo capricorn more so uh that more so than taurus but there's something to do with a wish fulfillment a wish fulfillment something that's communicated this is the star and the star does speak to hope it speaks to hope it speaks to healing right i don't know if this is healing your finances remember the queen of earth she's all about finances and stability so we also see another feminine figure here as you could see here and she's sitting right next to the lucky clover and she's sitting in between the clover and the bear which is a card of protection and we see that there's transition, that there's movement. I see a lot of movement. We've got two horsemen here. We've got... We've got the ship there. We've got another ship here. So I'm seeing that your finances are surely going through change. And that's very positive change. Because we also see here a king of wands. This could be someone that you work for, work with. Um, king of Wands is a leader in their own right. Um, and we know that the King of Wands is someone that's very creative, someone that sits at the top of their game. And we also see Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles, which is offered to you. So there's like a closing up of a chapter. And I don't know if this king of wands is someone connected to to your family your extended family or feels like someone from your tribe or because we've got the knight of wands here and the king of wands here that someone's going through some sort of maturing um and i'm i'm wondering also because we see the divine feminine yes she sort of has her back turned to the the bear which could be someone that sits in a position of power that she may turn her back on, which could be you. Because if this is you, you're looking at breaking free from something. Could be a family unit. Could be this is anything to do with possible separation and divorce. right? And this could be an offering of money to close up a legal situation. Or there could be possible help with finances coming from family. A possible new home. A new beginning because the ship is here and the ship is a beautiful card it can speak to travel it can speak to a farewell or a new journey or an adventure that's opening up some of you may be dealing could be dealing with someone that is at a distance surely as we've got the knight who is a traveler and we see so much movement you know, Ace of Pentacles that you close up March with could be many times it is an offer for something stable and long term, but it could be also an offer of money, a new job, a new position. Mm. Generally, March seems like a really good month, like a really good month. It feels like you're wrapping something up. There is possible abundance, but there's a cycle closing closing up and you're going through some healing 
in matters of love. Remember, Aquarius could speak to breaking free from, you know, detaching, detaching from a past situation. Listen to your intuition in the month, in the month of February, that justice will be served. You're in transition mode. <clears throat> this could be a, you know, you're overcoming any obstacles. Um, you've seen the light you're going through some sort of an ending there's a key here which could be an opening a resolution to an open wound or this is a new home a new relationship possibly it could be with someone that's around work as well as we've got the queen of earth here and the knight of cups is very connected to the pentacles so i'm wondering if that's not the case All right, let's let's uh, take a message from the animal spirit oracle for you. And as I said, we will be extending this reading. Do consider joining us on Patreon or you can purchase as a one off from our website. You can find all the links beneath the video. Let's see what the advice is for cancer, dear spirit. Thank you. Cancer. January, February, March of 2024. And we've got grizzly bear and power. I am indestructible. I honor my intuition and go where it leads. Love and gentleness are my real strength. I never give up, I will succeed. That is beautiful. And you've got the bear again. So you are protected. You do have someone who sits in a powerful position that possibly also protects you is there for you which i absolutely love there is the bear here so could this be someone that's new that's entering your life or someone that is now being more confident um so this could be another side to you obviously that you know your abilities that you are indestructible right and love and gentleness, they say, it says, is your real strength and you don't give up. You won't give up. All right. So, dear Cancer, I will leave it there. I want to thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting. I do see that there's a lot of, uh, a lot of change in the month of February. January starts off with a little bit of worry. Um, I could see that um, and then in March sort of things tend to turn around for you and this is the general vibe that I'm getting from most of the signs so March is a month of eclipses so I'm wondering if someone is or someone or something is not being eclipsed out of your life that was sort of blocking your growth or your your luck even you know Love and light. Thank you so much.